Bonjour à tous. Okay, good afternoon and welcome to the Frogans Technology Conference number seven. My name is Jean-Emmanuel Rodriguez and I'm in charge of sharing knowledge at OB3FT and I will be your MC for this long day together, um, I uh, am supported by my colleagues from OP3FT, including Mr. Collin, Philippe Collin, who is uh, working on innovation. He will be co-facilitating, co-moderating this entire day and uh, the evening with me. Just um, a few practical reminders about this conference. We are streaming this conference online. We're using a video cast, which is available both in French and in English simultaneously. Therefore, you can choose your language, French or English. First of all, I would like to greet all of you who are connecting or connected. If you are on programs.org, um, you should be hearing uh, what we are saying in French or in English. Uh, I'm speaking French, but at the back of the room, we have two interpreters who are interpreting simultaneously into English what we're saying here. And if I decide to switch into English, well, uh, then immediately I would be translated back into French. Should you be willing to listen to the, uh, to the translation? Headsets have been made available. All you need to do is to put your headset on channel one for French, uh, uh, and two for English, and uh, thereby you will be um, benefiting from the translation. If it doesn't work for some reason, uh, please do let us know. We have technicians. Hi, guys. Uh, greeting our technicians. Our technicians can help you if the headsets don't work. Okay, some information about the conference, today's conference. We're going to start off with a quick introduction of the, the co-creators of the, the uh, Frogans technology. We will then move on to a more theoretical and practical um, session on Frogans technology and the format of Frogans technology, Frogans addresses, and uh, the Frogans player, which we will discuss, of course. We'll take a break, and uh, we will then have some additional presentations about the environment, the uh, Frogans environment, professionals who can use uh, Frogans technology. Again, we will take uh, a one-hour break um, for dinner. This will give us an opportunity to relax and um, network. Um, you'll be able to ask your questions, uh, put your questions directly to OP3FT people. Um, you should be uh, able to identify these people. They have uh, badges with the word organizer on, on them. And then we will reconvene around 8 p.m. for the final stretch. The final stretch is the Frogans Awards ceremony. Uh, we launched this uh, event or initiative about two months ago. It's in order for people to uh, embrace the technology, use it to make, uh, mm, uh, to make sites with the FSDL language. Uh, you're probably wondering what Frogrance sites are, uh, what FSDL is. Don't worry, we're going to be explaining throughout the afternoon what this is. So we had a con we had a contest, and uh, contestants will be presenting what they did. We have six finalists who were shortlisted by OP3FT and the jury. The jury will be with us uh, this evening, of course, and they will give us their. A final verdict uh, on the winner. I will leave it there for now regarding the Frogans Awards. And before asking Amory uh, Grimbert to join me, uh, who is a co-creator co uh, and co-inventor of the Frogans technology, before calling Amory, here is um, the agenda. Voilà. De quoi il or rather, the topic we will be addressing today. It's all about this. This is what we will be discussing in detail 
for the rest of the day. It's about relationships, relationships that are established when uh, content is published online. It is very simple. As you can see on this slide, it looks it has the shape of an alpha. The alpha is the beginning of everything, the beginning of everything we will be addressing today. There is one publisher at the bottom who is trying to publish content. He will to do this, talk to a designer. The designer will design, design something for a site. Then they're going to put this online. And to put things online, they can talk to a developer. The developer is going to do the technical part, the back office of a site. And eventually, the purpose is to develop attractive, user-friendly, business, you name it, uh, content that will be available for end users. This is what we will be addressing in the next, uh, in the first three presentations with Frogan's technology. Then, of course, we will be talking about everything that happens around this relationship. There are a lot of things that happen around this relationship with all the other professionals, all the other people who are part of this ecosystem. I won't mention them all. I've just selected a few here on this slide. Of course, some are interested in um, registrations. They are provide registrations. Some are do monitoring or a watch providers to make sure that um, your name stays protected, for example. Some are doing um, uh, consulting. Uh, there are agencies as well. You can talk to agencies. Agencies can help you, uh, you know, on the, uh, the intelligence of your website uh, or site, rather. Uh, we have trainers, tra trainers who can help you uh, getting the right Training. They have all kinds of training material, tutorials, uh, free or not free. There are event organizers. There are. We are organizing our event today, but the uh, uh, developers community uh, loves events like hackathons where developers meet. They can meet. They can challenge each other. They do wonderful things. You know, in just a few hours, sometimes software developers as well. We will talk about soft software developers as well. You know, all this is very technical. Uh, these guys are very technical. They can, they've really uh, done a great job in order to make technology accessible to, uh, you know, as many people as possible. So, in a nutshell, this is what I wanted to, sh to, to share with you before starting. A few words about the formats of the presentations. Uh, Philip and I are here um, not just to give you uh, long lectures, not at all, as a matter of fact. Instead, we would like to make this as interactive as possible. We're going to have some interviews. We, will, we have questions that we've prepared. There are a few slides that they can use to answer, and this, uh, these slides will hopefully help those of you who are here or who are uh, watching uh, the streaming uh, of the conference. We will have OP3FT people. We will ask them what they've developed. We will ask them what they are making available to users. They will give us uh, technical insights about the, uh, about the technology. Uh, with Philip, we will be, will be examining uh, how these solutions, uh, addresses, technologies can help me, what they can, how can they can make a difference for me. So we'll try to be very pragmatic uh, with one sing simple question is why are we doing all this? We have one single mission at OP3FT. It's a simple and yet complicated mission. It's not just about developing Frogon's technology. It is not just about developing tools, the tools you need for Frogon's uh, sites. Uh, our mission is much more ambitious. Our mission is for you to gain ownership of all these components and then use them, embrace them. And eventually, you will be able to take your initiatives with Frogan's technology. Whether you run a business, whether you are a non-for-profit, you can do whatever you want. The point is, you are not alone. 
We are here to support you. We want you to take ownership of the technology, to embrace the technology. It comes available in different languages. We have technical support. Um, but there should be no restriction. You must use this technology, embrace it, and do with it what you want to do with it. And th th this is our mission. This is our assignment. And we take it very seriously. And hopefully some of the material available on YouTube will help you uh, uh, playing with, play with our technology. You will see that some of the presentations are very interesting. Some of them, I'm sure, will be helpful. And if there is anything missing, my card is here. Please make sure you put questions. I, we're here to answer your questions. And if I can't answer any of your questions, I'm happy to refer you to whoever can uh, assist you. So make sure you talk to um, you talk to me or anyone else from OP3FT. A lot has been done over the past months on Frogan's technology. We've been working hard. Uh, we've been doing a lot of developing. And I apologize if I was not able to answer uh, all questions. Some of you called me for support. Uh, sometimes we've uh, we've been a bit. Uh, a bit late in responding. I apologize. I know Willem has asked me a question about our discussion list, and uh, I uh, unfortunately have not been able to answer his question, but um, I will. I will. I've shared uh, this reality with my team. Uh, the fact is that today we're here to help you and support you. So, without further ado, Thank you very much. Thank you.